Hi, I'm Allie. And I'm Becky. We are registered dietitians that are passionate about food as medicine. In this video, we are talking about thyroid health as well as what your thyroid labs are telling you. Yes. So the thyroid gland is a small butterfly shaped gland in your neck and it's really a primary regulation center for the body. The thyroid gland has a role in your metabolism, your body temperature, your energy and sleep patterns, as well as your cognitive function and mood. Your thyroid even can influence your bowels and digestive health, as well as impact skin and hair health and so much more. The thyroid plays an integral role with connecting to our stress axis, the HPA axis, which is the hypothalamus pituitary adrenals. Yes, and oftentimes when we're going into our doctor's office, maybe we're just getting our routine annual lab workup, we'll see a TSH run. And sometimes we'll see a doctor who actually wants to prescribe thyroid medication based on a TSH alone. In fact, this happened to me during early pregnancy. And I was like, whoa, 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 pump the brakes. This isn't the full picture. So what that TSH is actually looking at, um, TSH is manufactured by your brain. It's not actually made by your thyroid hormones. So this is a feedback mechanism. It's assessing you know, the levels of thyroid function in the body, but there are a lot of other factors that can come into play, such as stress, such as intermittent fasting or a keto diet that can impact that TSH. Um, so we really wanna look deeper into other labs for assessment of true function of that gland. And if you're lucky, you might get a free T4 run, which is a precursor hormone to your active thyroid hormone, T3. But again, not the full picture. And you certainly don't want to go on medication based on those one or two labs alone. Yes. So as Becky mentioned, the TSH is made in the brain, that's the pituitary, and that stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. As I mentioned that the thyroid is connected to this stress axis, we even know in the hypothalamus that the hypothalamus makes our thyroid releasing hormone. So just using that TSH is a feedback loop mechanism, not actually any production of the thyroid gland itself. When we look at a simple thyroid panel, we want to look at that thyroid stimulating hormone as well as the free T4, which is that precursor, and the free T3, which is the active gas to your thyroid gland or the more influencing compound for your metabolism. Now, the free T3 and free T4, if low, will be diagnostic of hypothyroidism. And often when the free T3 and free T4 are low, the TSH will come up because your brain is reading those suppressed hormones and that pituitary gland is going to put out more of the thyroid stimulating hormone to stimulate that gland to turn on. Now, if we see excess or elevated values of our free T3 or free T4, this would be seen as hyperthyroidism or that the thyroid is putting out an excess or too much thyroid hormone. Now, often in this setting, we will see the TSH made in the brain to be suppressed or very low. But as Becky mentioned, if a doctor is just looking at the TSH alone, sometimes the TSH will be suppressed independent of the thyroid hormone being high, and sometimes the TSH will be elevated or stimulant also independent of the thyroid hormone being low. So we don't wanna use that as a sole marker. We always wanna look at those three in collaboration. Okay, so for a complete assessment of thyroid function, we want to look at that TSH, free T3 and free T4, but we also want you to add on some screening for autoimmunity as well as inflammation of the thyroid gland. This would be done with a TPO or thyroid peroxidase value, as well as our antithyroglobulin antibodies. So that TPO when elevated would be indicative of inflammation to the thyroid gland and autoimmune activity. This would be considered Hashimoto's, which is one of the main drivers of hypothyroidism or sluggish thyroid function. And then an anti-TG would be more indicative of Graves' disease, which is much more rare, and we would see that driving autoimmune thyroid disease in the hyper or overactive form. Yes, so even if you are on a thyroid medication currently, but you aren't sure if your TPO or antithyroid globulins are elevated, it'd be important to screen these because this is a good way to monitor, like Becky said, your autoimmune activity or inflammation response in the body.
This screen here shares our ideal ranges and it's important to note that a standard reference range is quite wide or vast. A functional optimal range is going to be a lot more narrow. So ideally we like to see the TSH under 1.5. We like to see that free T4 above a value of one, the free T3 of a value of 2.8 or greater, and to be within range or negative for the antibodies and low values of that TPO. Oftentimes when you go into your provider, they might not run the right thing or you might get denied to run those antibody screenings. So we put together a really simple functional thyroid panel for you guys that you can order direct to consumer from our website. And at the purchase price on the website, it actually comes from, with an email review from either Ali or myself, where we're going to give you an assessment of what we're seeing in your thyroid values, as well as supplement recommendations and food as medicine and lifestyle recommendations. And we would indicate to you if we think you need to be referred to an endocrinologist for potential for thyroid medication. Yes. And before you go on a medication, or if you're looking to reduce your medication, we always want to think of what nutrients support this tissue of the body to optimize. So we've created our thyroid optimizer formula to do just that. We've combined L-tyrosine with iodine in this formula, and these two compounds are the building blocks to make your thyroid hormone. We've also added in minerals like selenium, zinc, and chromium, which support, of course, immune function and metabolism, but also aid in activating from that precursor free T4 into that active gas pedal on your metabolism of the free T3. We've layered in adaptogenic compounds to protect the body against that oxidative stress and to harness this HPA axis so the feedback loop works appropriately and to reduce any autoimmune stress contribution. Since developing this formula, we have seen thousands of clients actually be able to avoid thyroid medication altogether, get off their medication, or at least reduce their dosage. And we've seen them be able to correct some of those bothersome symptoms that Ali mentioned, like stubborn weight loss, hair loss, and fatigue. Yes. So for you YouTube viewers, we have made this special code YT thyroid 10 and you can try this formula as well and we're sure that it'll be a great add to your body to optimize your thyroid's health. Be sure to hit the like button on this video. Go ahead and drop a comment on something that you've learned and make sure that you're subscribed to the Naturally Nourished YouTube channel so that you don't miss one of our bi-weekly releases. In fact, next week we'll be getting into food as medicine for thyroid support. And make sure you're subscribed to the Naturally Nourished YouTube channel. And make sure. And make sure that you're. <laughs>